on the Judiciary Committee. Mr. Speaker, I want to have a pop quiz. Uh, that may seem unfair uh, to my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, but I'm going to give them a hint. The answer to every one of the questions is the same. I'm going to read a quote, and then you tell me who said it. These last few years, we've seen an unacceptable abuse of power, having a president whose priority is expanding his own power. Any guess on who said that, Mr. Speaker? It was Senator Barack Obama. Here's another one. No law can give Congress a backbone if it refuses to stand up as a co-equal branch. The Constitution made it. Senator Barack Obama. What do we do with a president who can basically change what Congress passed by attaching a letter saying, I don't agree with this part or that part? Senator Barack Obama. I taught the Constitution for 10 years. I believe in the Constitution. Senator Barack Obama. And my favorite, Mr. Speaker, one of the most important jobs of the Supreme Court is to guard against the encroachment of the executive branch on the power of the other branches. And I think the Chief Justice has been a little too willing and eager to give the president more power than I think the Congress or the Constitution originally intended. So my question, Mr. Speaker, is how in the world can you get before the Supreme Court if you don't have standing? What did the president mean by that when he looked to the Supreme Court to rein in executive overreach? If you don't have standing, how can you possibly get before the Supreme Court? So my question, Mr. Speaker, is what's changed? How does going from being a senator to a president rewrite the Constitution? What's different from when he was a senator?